Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and we're playing the legendary Iron Man version of uh, Better One of uh, the mod. It is month number 6 and I need to turn down the music just a tiny bit. Much better, much better. Good, guys, it's month number 6 and we're in full out warfare over the African continent, Northern Africa, liberated but we are about to invade uh, two, the two other parts of Africa, Western and Southern Africa, and essentially start liberation missions sooner or later. But before we do that, uh, there is a smash and grab mission uh, which we need to do. And I'm excited that a newbie team, a rookie team, will go through this mission. Essentially, we do have a specialist, ranger, grenadier, shinobi, sharpshooter. So it's kind of a little bit of a relaxed mission. Uh, we uh, I'm not expecting any like major problems here. We're just going to grab, let's say, two to four uh, cages and uh, get out of it. And we have landed. Advent forces are in the process of airlifting. Good. This looks an awful lot like a lost mission. And we have an opportunity here to take a few for ourselves. Got a nice Locate and mark the crates with building fire. upstairs. Um, which we can essentially go through. And this here seems to be the edge of the map anyways. So starting in high high ground and uh, walking through the building shouldn't be a big problem. As we're normally doing it, let's just charge in. No enemies are going to be up here and we're not going to be ambushed. The only thing that we need to be careful about is uh, not to lose our concealment. Good, round number two. Time to open the door carefully. Time to move over and open the other door carefully. Or just realize that it had been opened beforehand. You know what? I think that there are many more crates over here. So I'm almost inclined to believe that we should set up camp on this side. Good, none of the movements should get us detected. Yeah, there are multiple more crates down there. Okay. The baseline was pretty mild. I don't have it on top of my head, but I think it was around 15. Should have looked that up, but it really doesn't matter. I don't intend to kill all of the enemies. Instead, what we're going to do is we're simply going to grab a few of the crates and then get out of here. Dynamite is going to be the one grabbing this crate because grabbing a crate reveals you making the rounds. Oh, look at you. We found the first pack. Interesting. And two crates. That's even better. I 
I think. Hmm. It's so tempting to put the sniper here. And just let this side here be our main <coughs> uh, main side of conflict. So let's hope for now that we're not pulling yet another pack. I am just putting everyone in position. Dynamite is essentially moving into a position where she could uh, grab the chest next turn. <clears throat> and where would we put the shinobi? I think inside of the building is fine for now. Overwatch. Oh shit, I should have st steadied the weapon. Well, it's okay. I don't want to engage anyways. I actually want them to move further to the area where I intended the conflict to happen. But they seem to have different plans. Okay. Well. Seems like we need to engage them. I don't want to give up the high cover uh, the high ground here. I'm surprised that this here wouldn't alert them. Alright, let's get everyone in position without being spotted out. Okay, this should not break uh, concealment. We're steadying the weapon. Overwatching here. And overwatching here just in case. Another overwatch. Okay. Well, it might be on from next turn onwards.
Everyone's ready to engage on them. Hmm. Well, how would we do that? That'll be an option. We're essentially banking on the fact that we're not pulling another pack, but it's not entirely unrealistic. Could kill the trooper as well. Or we're simply going for the drone. Okay, so that's an option. I think they will spread out afterwards, giving us better chances to engage them. So yeah, I don't think that there is another pack near. We would have seen it elsewise from the position here. So this here shouldn't trigger anything, like not anything additional. Killing the biggest threat, the rocket here, right away. And they just flat out refuse to move, which is great. Marking the supplies. Moving up. We're picking up a steady signal from the transponder. Firebrand is en route to make the pickup. Marking even more supplies. Before we kill anyone, we're putting our evac zone prominently over here, just in case, you know. This here might be a critical hit. It is not, unfortunately. Let's make sure that we kill each of them. We're just around the corner. Drone has seven hit points. We would deal like what? enough damage to kill it right away. I definitely got that one. Good. Steady the weapon again. We got two crates, two more to go over here. Essentially eliminated the first pack right away. And we have already reached the amount of crates that we wanted to get with the newbie team. 
everything else now is going to be a benefit. Moving within the house. Double movement so we can get to the crates next turn. Matter of fact, we could go to that crate right away. Probably not the worst decision. We already know that there is no one here. There might be someone within that building, but the chances are pretty low. They are usually further back in that uh, part of the map. And even if we would pull something, we still had... We still would have um, an aid protocol. Well, the mech is a pretty nasty opponent, not gonna lie. Okay. So... In terms of engaging it... only have positions where we are essentially out of cover. On the other hand, the mech already has one of our soldiers flanked, so we better kill it this turn. Okay, I'll go. Moving over here. Let's take a precision shot. What's our chance to shut it down? 50-50. We got high, uh, damn good ground, so we definitely should put him onto on top of a target. Let's try the 50-50. If a chain shot lands, we could kill it with the sniper. And I don't want... Come on, focus. Yeah, I don't want the mech to power up. That makes it even worse. We're going to take one shot. But we got plenty of defense, so we should be fine. It's a bit unfortunate that this pack was pulled kind of mid-movement. But I knew the risk when I was going for the crate. Yeah, Advent um, has gotten their crates. Fair enough. We'll probably take a single shot. We are out of kill range though, so it can't immediately kill us, even with a crit. Well, that's even better. Can easily heal that. Easy! So that was probably the worst move that the mech could have done. And I know you guys missed them quite a bit. 
Time for some more losts. By the way, um, I might do a bit of an introduction to the weapon upgrades. I, I mentioned two missions ago that I completely stripped all of the weapon upgrades and um, and redone them or remodeled them. And my logic was the following: so for snipers, I uh, for snipers, I used to go with a scope uh, for uh, uh, to hit and. Um, expanded magazine if possible uh, because of kill zone and just various other abilities such as serial and finally I like to put a stock in there because they definitely have the time to quote unquote uh, steady the weapon from time uh, time to time so that's usually I try to kind of standardize that throughout the entirety of uh, all of the snipers for infantry I went with scope expanded magazine and autoloader because they burn through ammunition just so incredibly fast. Um, and for gunners, I went for scope um, expanded magazine or autoloader and a hair trigger because their suppression or area suppression um, makes them prime candidates for overwatch shots. So getting bonuses on the overwatch shots definitely helps. Finally, uh, for most of the others, I was taking whatever was available and the more uh, experienced the troop was, uh, the more preference or, uh, they, they got um, on the better um, weapon modifications uh, so that the good troops essentially have the best weapon modifications. So that was the logic behind it. Um, for Oh, one last thing uh, for assaults. I definitely went for the highest um, uh, laser uh, side, as well as an expanded magazine or autoloader, and finally the suppr uh, suppressors. Um, so I almost put all of the suppressors into the shotguns. Uh, to reduce their infiltration time because shotguns once you do have uh, laser uh, sight and some means to reload are absolutely fine they are weapons who uh, which solely rely on crit they don't need overwatch or any of the other fancy things and they benefit comparably less from from ammunition and why the fuck is the loss even are you serious Okay. Yeah, so that was the logic behind all of the weapon upgrades in case you ever wondered what I did. And so far it's working great. I mean, this is the first mission, but I can already say that I enjoy like the standardized um, version of the weapons, essentially giving all of giving all of the snipers the ability to steady their weapon and having enough ammunition in in the weapons for the rangers. Good. We got our third crate, and we got a bunch of enemies waiting. Let's start the killing process. Enemy down. Yeah, I don't want to waste uh, his turn. Not before. I haven't finished the mech. Oh shit, we got such a good shot on the trooper. Huh? Maybe I'll reconsider. So, let's... First and foremost, see what we can do. We got out a loader and a lot of ammunition on our um, infantry here. So... 
getting rid of the loss is not a problem. See, that's the advantage when you do have a lot of ammunition. Those scenarios don't scare you. Because we haven't even wasted any time. Oh, that one is burning. Let's start and kill the mech. Nice. That's a good start. That dasher is burning as well. Which means we can hit the purifier and maybe even kill it. We couldn't fully kill it. But it gives us enough um, enough leverage to kill all of the loss. And now hopefully we can also eliminate this guy. Which frees up the sniper. Again, also enough ammunition in his sniper rifle to simply take care of the loss. That one is burning. And now we're talking. That's the shot I was waiting for. A 2% chance to graze with the attack. And of course, it happens to us. Position confirmed. Alright, moving into full cover. I'm really not that scared of the purifier. And instead of flashbanging, we're just using a grenade that's a secured kill. Might trigger a few more losses down the road, but I'm okay with it. We have multiple targets down. Good. So, that's our fourth crate. Moving closer to the action. Don't have any melee uh, kills, at least not for this turn. And Advent is now starting to mark supply crates pretty far down the line. We, got him on the run. we know the next pack is over here, somewhere. Yep, there we go. Very predictable. He was running towards his friends. And I think the losses are, at this point, beaten. At least the first few losses.
we have the upper amount of crates that we wanted to get which means everything now is definitely a bonus let's start hitting the mech okay that's a, that's a valiant attempt unfortunately with our laser weapons we're a bit outgunned Great, a PCS and some weapon mods. That's good. So that's like what we had. We originally had three in the first pack down three in the second pack that's six over here one no that was a pack of two one two that's five then we added uh, another pack of two that's seven and now another pack of two that's nine might be the entirety of advent not sure let's find out i'm pretty sure no, no one is here so i might trigger one more pack but that's okay the um, purifier essentially can't hurt us with the hazmat vests And I want to make a push for the crates over here. Yeah, that's the last pack. We're going in with an 8 protocol. And we will further support. Come on, don't tell me that we can't hit the Berserk. <laughs> Are we really just barely out of range? No, we are not. Ha ha! Rapid deployment. Just want to make sure that we hit that berserk. That way it's being slowed down and cannot reach us. There we go. Yeah, we don't fear the purifier. Instead, let's overwatch our specialist. And we're continuing to overwatch in full cover. So we're down to only a few crates. Oh, 
Okay. Well, I am not 100% sure how the Viper teleported like right through <coughs> the entire wall. That ability seems a bit excessive. At the same time, another Lost Swarm appears. And interestingly enough, I learned something about uh, Long War. Our Shinobi has uh, the ability to uh, retaliate on melee attacks. And I know that Bladestorm is, is being triggered when you're tongue grabbed. Apparently the retaliation is not. Which is good to know. So we can only hit the Berserk. We're not in range to hit the Viper, but we definitely need to hit it this turn. So moving up. What are our chances of hitting it? 73. Could always use a grenade. So let's do that shot here. Maybe we can even kill it. Almost killed it. Let's do the no regret moves, which is attacking the Berserk with the Sniper. Fortunately, low damage. It's hoping for a bit more. Now, this here should be a kill. Perfect. And the way that I would like to deal with the Berserk is... hoping we would get some sort of cover which we aren't that means the other viper still has a pretty decent shot onto us where is that viper by the way over there okay hmm. oh over here now it makes sense it never had gone through the wall that was just a graphical bug so what I wanted to do with the Berserk is let it attack us. And we do have Stabilize. The other alternative is simply throw another Flashbang making it very unlikely that he's going to hit. He's barely, I think, in rage even with a flashbang. To hit our um, ranger. And 
8 to 12 and the Viper definitely wouldn't die. None of the positions would allow us to kill uh, this guy. Well, I mean, that's a 40% instant kill. But he's not dangerous, not at all. If we were to shoot the Berserk, even if we hit it for maximum damage, it would be down to 12 hit points. Can we deal 12 hit points? Yes, we can. But then again, we're left in the open and the Viper can take a shot at us. Still, I think not utilizing our melee capabilities now would be a mistake. So let's heal Rattler up. It's not going to die from a single shot of the Viper. Just want to make sure he's topped off. Let's see if we can hit the Berserk. Uh, worst case scenario. One thing that we could do is go into full covers and throw a flashbang. You know, I think we're going to do that. Sometimes a good defense is a good defense. It doesn't need to be the full offense every single round. Ooh, that would be helpful to, uh, to kill this guy, but for now, I gotta deal with the big boy. Okay, so his movement was not enough to attack, which is great. It's, it's getting ridiculous. Into full cover again. I don't know what their tongue grab accuracy is nowadays, but back, uh, back in the time when I used to play, that was one of the least accurate uh, attacks. Apparently those times have changed, and Vibers nowadays just know how to tongue wrap. So there's a small chance that the loss will hit, uh, will basically swarm the uh, Viper and hit it, which would be great. And here we go. A couple of the losses definitely make it to the Viper. Not sure if. Uh, they hit it, but it would be cool. I'm not sure if the loss, since uh, so Edwin can definitely hit um, targets that are being constricted without uh, interrupting the bound. I'm not sure if the loss, since they are not in the same faction, could do that as well. Intuitively, I would say no. Did they just hit and miss? This is Firebrand. What the fuck? Time to go. Okay. Hmm. Well. Let's clean up some of the losses here. It's just getting ridiculous. I definitely got that one. Puppy. Got it, right? 
saving another autoloader order and thanks to the expanded magazine everything's fine by the way just out of curiosity like if i would both barrels in his face that's a pretty decent chance that he would die right you would guess so Yeah, just for good measure, let's take down this lost here as well. Good, so what can our sniper hit? I think that's an important question. Thirty-three percent only against the Viper. Well, that's not a good shot. I mean, one of the things that we could do basically grenade that entire area which will admittedly hit our um, operative what's our chance to just walk fire the viper well, that's not bad either So let's just hit the Colossus here. Wow, still 13 hit points left. Holy shit. Gotta give the, uh, the Berserk a bit of respect. If you don't have modernized weapons, you are entirely fucked. And even with magnetic weapons, he definitely soaks a lot of damage. Okay, finally. Let's... <laughs> ah, you... Oh my god. Uh, that is unlucky, to say the least. Good. We gotta make sure that we're not taking any chances here. Yes, friendly fire. I am aware that that stinks. Should have reloaded beforehand, by the way. At least it unwinds the bar, uh, bind. Good. Let's make sure we can kill it. Currently we can't. Enemies down. That lost us two more crates. I needed to spend both of the actions to get the Viper down, elsewise I could have at least saved one of the crates. So now we are left with this purifier here. Who starts fighting against the lost? And I'm fine with that.
by the way, not even sure where exactly the last um, crate is located. Okay. So we do have one crate that remains. The question is, can we still get it, or should we get the F out of here? Because short of the purifier, we can't do anything against this. There's really nothing for us in here. Yeah, no no crates up here either. If I was to take a wild guess, it would be probably somewhere here in the alleyway, which is too far. Don't want to go down that far. Um, yeah, it seems as if we've reached the end of the road, guys. There's definitely not a crate in uh, movement's distance. That's why it would have shown up. So what we're going to do is we're simply going to leave. Moving everyone. Go, go, go. We could, sh uh, short of uh, the, uh, short of our shinobi, we could get all of them out of here. Just making sure no shenanigans happen in the last round. So we're staying somewhat close. Overwatch, Overwatch. Reload Overwatch. Well, it was an overall successful mission. I mean, for a brand new team of rookies. Or, well, they weren't rookies, but they were certainly not experts either. For rookie-ish team, they've done very, very well. It shows uh, that the lack of uh, weapons is of course a problem specifically against heavier hitting foes like heavy mechs. 17 hit points, 3 armor is nothing to sneeze at. They are almost invincible against smaller weapons, so you definitely need the right ammunition and the right weapons. Another Lost Swarm appears, but for us, that doesn't mean anything. Okay, time to get out of here. I'm on the move. So we're evacuing everyone, and with mild damage on two of our soldiers, we should be fine. I would guess we also get a promotion or two. By the way, before moving out, let's take the unique opportunity to just rack up some more kills.
Good, puppy will go last. Same here with Rascal. He's probably not going to ramp up that many kills. His aim isn't super good. And the first time that he's going to miss. Yeah, he needs to evac essentially. Okay. And last but not least. Puppy who can only kill one because then his magazine is empty. And he has used all of the charges of the auto loader. And just for shits and giggles, let's try to kill the purifier. Didn't work out. We had a good run. Let's get out of here, boys. And there we go, five promotions. Who would have thought? First and foremost, Rascal gets the savior trade. Great one. By the way, fortify here. Um, I'll get that at our next possible chance to take uh, take up a trade. Uh, we give our Shinobi covert. I like them good ground. Yeah, but we're probably going for Center Mass and Untouchable. Untouchable is probably the one that we're going for the most. Our Sniper can get Death from above. Yes, please. Well, his abilities aren't the best. Deadshot may be okay. Um... Yeah, but run and gun, I, I can see that. But I'm not afraid, like, the sniper is is good enough the way the class is. We are going to go for formidable, making us more likely to survive. The 10% crit chance, flat out crit chance, isn't bad. Covering fire is also good, but I think we're going to go for an additional crit chance. Puppy takes fortify. Not even a question. And do we want a free flashbang? I think that's also just a very nice ability. Having a, fl a flashbang available is good in its own regard. Flashbangs are incredibly powerful even into the very late game. Super good uh, debuff against biological targets. And it doesn't cost him an inventory slot. Good, we got almost 40 supplies out of it. When you kill an enemy, allies within seven tiles temporarily receive a bonus. Okay. That's a pretty cool um, PCS, but the question is who would take that? Maybe someone uh, like a Grenadier or a Technician who could kill enemies and usually is in the middle of the pack in our tactics, right? Yeah, I think that's that's how we could make it uh, make it work. I don't know how high the bonus to aim and critical chance is going to be though. Okay. Now, what we wanted to do is, since we're finally having the time to do so, what we wanted to do is we wanted to infiltrate the second. Network tower, which was down here. I 
I still remember that we wanted to do that. Um, essentially, both of the towers together would allow us to liberate um, the entirety of Africa. Like after the tower, the next mission, if I'm not mistaken, is uh, the actual liberation mission. So we will definitely need a strong team for that. But theoretically, we could pull it off and do two liberation missions at the same time, right? Let me do this. All right, and we are back. So this is going to be a prime team. Renvin, Roby, Ragtime, Quick Feet, whom I have given a bit more uh, hit points now. And he also has uh, the resilience trait and Taxman. So all kind of viewer uh, viewers slash named characters. And uh, that is Frontline. Um, uh, Pretty much DPS dash support, removal of cover, pure support, and range DPS. I think that's a great team. I'm very much looking forward to play this mission. All right, there we go. Yeah, well, and it's just about time to do the next mission, guys. Um, what a coincidence. Thank you so much for watching. Um, it was fun as always, and we're seeing each other in the next mission. Don't forget to leave a like or a comment down below. That always helps. Uh, thank you for watching, and see you. Bye-bye.